You know, this is one of the worst things that can actually happen to really cool tools. This was an awesome tool before, but now you got to pay for it. And the thing is, it does have some great features associated with it. But this happens with all these great tools. People start using it and they see the value of it and then they smack a price tag on it. And look, there are some awesome tools out there, SEM Rush, Ahrefs, that are just crazy, crazy expensive. Even also asked here, I know the basic is only $12 a month, but then you got things like Mangles, even though Mangles is an awesome tool and is relatively inexpensive compared to the rest, we still want to basically be able to get a free tool that gives us something unique and doesn't really limit our usage. You have things like Answer the Public that was bought by Neil Patel. And as you can see here, three daily searches. So you put your keyword in there, you do whatever it actually is, you choose your location, your language, et cetera, and you click search and it's gonna give you a list of certain things. Cool thing is you can search on Bing and YouTube here as well. But again, if you wanna actually use it correctly, which it's gonna cost you $9 a month for 100 searches per day, $99 a month pro and $199 for expert, okay? but. We don't want that, okay? We want to utilize a free tool, okay? And a free tool that I've found is absolutely awesome, and it's called Answer Socrates, okay? So, so A N S W E R Socrates.com, okay? So you have answers, we have the questions, discover the questions people are asking on Google about almost any topic for free, okay? But this is awesome. I really love it. Let's have a look at quickly what it does. OK, so what is it for? Socrates discovers questions that real people are asking on Google to help you write a thorough research based article, answer every possible question about your product, brainstorm ideas, gain deeper insight on almost any topic. OK, who is it for? Writers, SEO, researchers, question enthusiasts, bloggers. Um, and how does it work? We combine the brute force of Google Suggest. People also ask featured questions and Google Trends data to show you relevant and interesting questions. This is brilliant, okay? This is, this is what I love. So what we wanna do here is, okay, so you have, I've got a, a sub stack here. So you have answer, access to the sub stack where I break down all of the elements that you can actually uh, do within Answer Socrates. So make sure that you go over and check on that to see what you can do. But inside of answer socrates itself you want to just when you're doing this you want to have a broad um kind of idea about the topic that you're doing okay so let's say it's healthy recipes okay so healthy recipes and then you're going to choose your location okay well, i'm just going to choose the united states and then you're going to choose your language you've got your questions a stack of questions okay and these are are can i can how how do i etc cetera, etc cetera, okay huge amount all right so then you can go through these and actually start to find related queries that you can start creating content about now what i want you to notice here and which is a bit of an annoyance is that it doesn't have a keyword search volume associated with it but it's a great starting point for when you're actually doing your keyword research but what i will also say is these are from google all right so these search results are actually from google now what this basically means is for a search result to appear on Google to the public in some way, there has to be a significant number of searches actually done with it, okay? So that can range from something like, a, there was a test done a few years ago, that can range from like uh, a thousand up to 20,000, okay? And so this is for questions that are appearing in the suggest and also in the people also ask, and you'll also find it in the related questions within Google. So you've got some amazing kind of things there. You've got questions, you've got prepositions. So you can go and target all of these as well. Now, if you want to take it a step further, you could download all of these keywords and then actually ask something like Google Bard to group your keywords together. I made a video on, or not Google Bard, Google Gemini. I made a video on Gemini, which shows you, and it has included prompts, which I'll leave a link down below as well, that shows you how to group these keywords into article specific groupings. So you get all of these, you paste it into Google Gemini, and you get it to group it into specific articles for you. So you can target multiple keywords within your articles. So huge amount of things down here, but I just wanted to show you one thing that I absolutely love about this, and this is trending topics, okay? You don't have to do any search here, you just choose your country, okay? And it's gonna give you trending topics related to what is going on in the country. And this is brilliant, okay? This is obviously pulled from Google Trends. 
And this is going to enable you to see ideas that are trending and potentially that you can jump on top of. You can jump on top of it in your content creation. You can jump on top of it in your niche. Um, and so Pelosi, Titans, Dead to Me, 1889, Warriors. And then you can go in and you can actually look at more questions. So let's say Warriors, okay? Then are Warriors good in the Shadowlands? Are Warriors playing tonight, etc. So huge amount of questions again. So you can look at the keywords that are trending and then you can specifically go in. You can create whole websites around those. So anyway, look, my name's Kieran Doyle. I really, really hope you've enjoyed this. I created the blog Profit Path to help people start, build and grow successful blogs online. So you might want to check that out if you're interested in starting your own blog. I'll leave a link to it down below as well. If you're new here, really hope you've enjoyed it. If you're returning, thanks so much for being here, guys. And I'll talk to you in the next video. If you liked it, give it a, a like and a subscribe. Cheers. Bye-bye.